garden myth busted. Hold on. They are white trees. Welcome to PHS Garden Myth Busting, where we team up with the experts from the Pennsylvania Horticultural Society to debunk the myths that we've taught ourselves about gardening. I'm Doug and I'm new to gardening, but luckily I'm here with Ashley who can help. Today we're going to talk about having a tree in the city. So Ashley, I would love to plant a tree on my street. But from what I know, the application process is difficult. Once I get the tree planted, there's a chance it'll disrupt the infrastructure around my house. It could uproot the sidewalk or rupture a pipe. I hear you, Doug. And street trees do get a bad reputation. But there are people like me on the PHS Trees team and our local community partners who will help you through that application process. And once you see the amount of thought we put into choosing the right tree for the right place, you'll see that it's not as bad as it seems. Before we get into all the details, first we should talk about why trees are so important. Trees are not just a nice to have, they are a necessity. They are proven to support local wildlife, improve mental health, reduce crime and gun violence, reduce stormwater and flooding, and lower temperatures in hotter months. A good tree canopy is 30%. In the city of Philadelphia, some neighborhoods, it's as low as 2.5%. And that's why it's so important for us to plant trees and increase the overall canopy. Now that we've talked about the benefits of trees and why you should get one, let's address some of those concerns that you have about infrastructure. First, let's talk about pipes. The job of the tree's roots is to seek out a water source. And so if your pipes are already damaged, the tree roots may find that water source. But if they are solid and not damaged, the tree's roots most likely will not cause damage. Also, tree's roots are only 18 inches below the surface whereas Philadelphia sewer laterals are buried six feet below the surface. And so there's a significant distance between the two. So Ashley, earlier you told me that there are people who can help me through the application process for the trees. Can you tell me a little more about that? If you're applying in the city of Philadelphia, you can reach out to the PHS trees team or your local tree tenders group, and they can help you through the application process. Tree tenders are a group of community-based, educated volunteers who plant, maintain, and care for the trees in their neighborhoods. And if you're applying in the suburbs, you can visit us at our website at phsonline.org to see what resources are available to you. That sounds great. Now we're going to talk about the tree application process. First, you need to determine if you want a street tree like the one behind us or a yard tree. If you are looking for a yard tree in Philadelphia, you can visit treephilly.org for more information. Or if you're looking for one in the suburbs, you can contact your local tree tenders group. When should I submit my application and how many trees can I get? That's a great question, Doug. In Philadelphia, you can apply for up to six free trees per year, three at each of our spring and fall plantings. If you apply by late May, you could receive those trees in the fall, usually in November. And if you apply by late November, you could receive those trees in the spring, usually in April. Before you apply, it's important to review the PHS tree planting policies document on our website. It'll give you a better idea of what you, the property owner, are responsible for and what we at PHS will provide. Next, you'll want to reach out to your local PHS tree tenders group. To find your local tree tenders group, visit our website at phsonline.org. What if I go to the PHS website and I don't have a local tree tender group in my neighborhood? So then you would link with two other members of your community and you could take our tree tenders course, which is available multiple times throughout the year. I'll do that. And then from there, you can apply for a tree as a tree tender group. What happens when my application gets approved? 
A member of the PHS Trees team will reach out to you to coordinate cutting your sidewalk for the tree pit if applicable and will work to get your tree for you. And as I mentioned before, a city arborist will be going around to inspect all the sites to ensure that the appropriate species will be placed in the right location. On the day of planting, your local tree tenders group will come and plant the tree and give you a care guide. If at the end of all of this, you aren't able to receive a tree or are not ready to receive a tree, you can still get involved with our programs by signing up to take the Tree Tenders course, which is available multiple times throughout the year. Or you can connect with your local Tree Tenders group and volunteer for one of our plantings, and you are not required to be a Tree Tenders graduate in order to participate. Trees aren't just a nice to have, they're a necessity. In the city of Philadelphia, property owners can apply through PHS for up to three street trees twice per year, six in total. You can apply around late May for your trees to be planted at our fall planting, usually in November, and again in late November for your trees to be planted at our spring planting, usually in April. It's important to review the Philadelphia tree planting policies and priorities on PHS's website, it will give you an overview of what you can expect PHS and partners to provide and what homeowners can expect to be responsible for. From there, you'll want to reach out to your local PHS tree tenders group. PHS tree tenders is a network of community volunteers who plant, maintain, and care for trees in neighborhoods across the Philadelphia region. Working directly with your neighborhood group makes the application process more seamless. If your neighborhood does not have a PHS tree tenders group, take the PHS tree tenders course with at least two neighbors, form a new group, and then you'll be eligible to submit tree applications for your neighborhood. If your application is approved, a member of PHS's tree team will reach out to you to schedule cutting and removal of pavement as needed, and your local tree tender group will drop off the supplies, including your tree, in the days leading up to planting. On the day of planting, a team from your neighborhood PHS tree tender group will come to plant the tree and leave you with a care guide to make sure the tree thrives in the years to come. If you're not ready or able to have a tree but want to get involved, PHS tree tenders are always looking for more volunteers. Our PHS tree tenders training course is available multiple times a year. You can also volunteer at one of our biannual plantings without becoming a tree tender. We would love to have you get involved in our TREES programs. To learn more, please click the link in the description below or visit us at phsonline.org. Bye!